Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I think we're gonna just go for a drive and maybe go to the mountains. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's some skydiving happening down there. So that's where the plane lands and takes off. So who knows? I might be there next. The whole sea. So about to head off to the desert, inshallah. We're just coming to a city or a town in Dubai called Deira. I don't know if you've heard of it. Basically, it's where the poor people live. Now it's time to pray, as you can hear. gonna go and pray um we'll be back can i taste it can i taste thank you ah. is it the hard one okay so i just pulled over to just get some mangoes and um i'm not gonna lie i've never driven this fast in my life so we're driving i'm driving the range but at these speeds Are you crazy? That's how fast So one of the difficulties of driving in Dubai Is getting used to being on the opposite side And Yeah, we're off we go We're currently driving at 100 and 10 kilometers per hour British speed I think that's like I don't know I'm not sure I'll find out have a look at these nice mountains have a look have a look have a look camera very pretty very pretty so alhamdulillah we made it to Korkan this is a small small town that is situated between a few mountains I think we're just gonna drive to some more mountains. So we're just pulling up. So we just pulled up to the spot. It's super cute. Um, so, so cute. Nice little beach. I don't think I'm going to take my camera down out of the car because this is a super 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 local area and if they see my big old camera they're going to be like oh my gosh what's she doing she's black police not in all of that muscular today so I decided to bring my camera out because if they want to arrest me let them arrest me they can't arrest me I'm a real bad bee you get me real bad bee in a real land So we just left the beach um i'm kind of hungry now i'm with my uncle for anybody curious he's just going to pray but the message closed so he has to pray outside i'm probably gonna go get some food inshallah we're driving through kujaira which is the center of uae's oil production and you can see there's all oil tankers everywhere I'd say Fujaira. This side you have, I don't know. I got four pieces of chicken. Traditional piece of bread that they always give. And some fries. Should we do a taste test? Shall I try? What do we have here? I have a leg, I have a. I'm gonna try this piece. Bismillah.
that is Marsha Allah tabarakallah type of food right there that is 10 out of 10 it's hot it's crispy it's spicy are you mad just listen to the crunch listen to the crunch So I decided to go for a walk at 12.17. I'm sick and tired of wearing these masks, but I'm not in a position to be receiving a 10,000 dirham fine. Your girl is not about to take that kind of L. But um, I'm just sitting here, thinking about life, thinking about the dunya, thinking about my goals, my plans. And I'm sitting here, like going through it and thinking, oh, what do I want to achieve? What do I want to, what do I need to change? And blah, 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 blah. But then I was thinking, you know, all of that is great, it's fine, it's important to do that. But what should I really be focusing on? You know, what have I done to get myself one step closer to where I want to be in, 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 in the Akhirah? What have I done this year to get myself one step closer to that? And is it enough? If we put as much time and effort into our akhirah as much as we put it into our dunya where would you be that's it ask yourself that question i'm gonna go upstairs now i've got some more editing to do and inshallah ta'ala i'm gonna call it a night um see you in the morning morning so I am literally rushing out. It's 8.30. Do you know what? This is not gonna work. I'll talk to you in the car. So Alhamdulillah, I'm in the taxi now and um, I'm just on my way to the Atlantis. Um, I'm going to the water park inshallah. So I won't record too much, but I have my GoPro, so I'm gonna try and get as much as possible. So your girl is ready for water park part two on my own. But inshallah, we're gonna have so much fun. This lady's watching me record right now. But let's get lit. because the girl's not in the mood to drown I'm five foot three and I currently can't put my feet on the floor and I'm not even that far away from the flipping shore so that's why I got my life packet you know what I'm saying? I just got changed Alhamdulillah I had a really nice day I had a really energetic day feeling good feeling great and now it's time to eat inshallah it's so humid right now that my camera's even sweating but I'm just sitting here Enjoying my little one, two, one, two. You already know. So basically, guys, the entrance fee to the water park is 485 dirham with a towel and a locker. I paid 100 dirhams because the last time that I was here, I started having a conversation with one of the colleagues and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, next time you come, I got you. Guess who pulled on that link and it came right through 100 dirhams I think is about 20 pounds and 400 and something dirhams I think is around 80 or something but your girl saved out so alhamdulillah back at home again and it's been a long day I'm tired the sun has set over Dubai and I think that's it I think I'm gonna just 
end today here. I'm not doing anything else. Um, I'm probably just gonna edit and that's it really. But from me in Dubai, good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning guys, assalamu alaikum. Um, it's a beautiful morning, as always. I'm just drinking my coffee. Getting ready to head out, inshallah. Um, I think today I'm gonna go to the gold souk and see what they're saying. I'm loving this brown fit with the classic Reeboks. Shall I give you guys a proper fit check? Mm. All right, cool. So we got this cute tailor-made abaya with the matching coffee scarf or latte scarf. Then we got the Reebok Classics. Swag is always, always, always got to stay on top. All right, we about to head out or whatever. It's so weird because here, when someone comes in the lift, they say hi, and when they come out, they say bye. I find that so awkward because I'm so British. Don't do that. Mind your business. Get on with your day. I thought I'd experience something different today, so we're going to get on the metro. Apparently it's really quick, really easy, no traffic, so let's see. I'm trying to get there quickly and get out quickly. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah. I just really hope and pray that I don't get no head top grease stop. You know what I'm saying? With the ship on hijabs and that. Inshallah. The train to UAE. Oh no, see? Grease top, head top. Told you guys, man. Cha, man. Basically, you can get a whole £20 fine for being in the wrong, in the wrong carriage on the train. How sick is that? The next Guys, so I've arrived at the gold souk market and um, what can I say? What can I say? A sensation, no. So I'm just walking in through the gold souk as you can see. There is gold on every single side. So we're gonna go into one of the oldest family run businesses on this street. They've got shops all over the UAE, so inshallah, I'm gonna take you inside. No, thank you. I'm gonna take you inside and give you a tour, inshallah. I have Rashid here who's gonna give us a tour today, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Welcome to our Rumizan Gold and Jewelry. We are a very big company in the UAE, not only in the UAE, in the GGC, all uh, gold countries. Yeah. Our company has a long history in gold and jewelry. It started, you can see it on the sign. Since 1953. Now, right now, we have, alhamdulillah, more than, over than 200 branches, branches in the UAE uh, and Saudi Arabia, uh, Qatar, Oman. So now we are here with the most expensive piece in our shop. This is the most expensive piece. It's like an armor. This is not a gold or jewelry. It's an armor of gold, made of gold. You can go to war with this. <laughs> How much is it? Three, three million point five. Dirham. Three million dirham. She's equal to eight hundred maybe pounds. Thousand. Hundred thousand. No way. Yeah. Now show me the cheapest. The cheapest. The cheapest jewelry you have here. Some, Some of the cheapest jewelry. And how much did these go for? Uh, five hundred, six hundred. Nine point nine. Nine, nine, nine. nine. The finest gold. So each face is 24 yes. and the frame is 21 yep exactly uh, well now we will try the special set yeah. <laughs> And you said this is 250k, right? Yeah. Roughly. I'll buy this one for my wedding, inshallah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, 
Can follow us on uh, Instagram. Also, you can follow us on Snapchat. Yeah. And this is our email. Also, we have an app, Whoa. application. Yeah. And see what we have. Some of the items, the most items. Find the whole suit. There's no security. We don't need them because the government they have the security everywhere. Right, right. You can see the car. So safe. The police. Yeah. It's very strict. Yeah. yeah. You cannot do anything. They will catch you. If you do small things, they will catch you. No. Alhamdulillah, here security is number one. All right, guys. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much. Guys, wallahi, that shop is so amazing. They bought me juice. They gave me some wicked discount. Listen, that's me. Get you a gold plug like mine. Mododo. If I get to the end of this road, and nobody's walked up to me offering me see look probably have one more watch this man is gonna say something to me any money any money no thank you no thank you told you <laughs> i'm not looking for anything but they're on job i want to go to dubai mall pick up a few bits and then inshallah head home back on a train so far to get from Marina Bay to here now to Dubai Mall it's cost me a pound fifty that's what it says I don't know if that's what it means but I put 25 on I've currently got 20 dirhams so five dirhams is like a pound something what? <laughs> guys so I'm in the mall and it's a proper shout like, don't get it twisted However, I don't have space to put these things and I'm tired, like my legs are hurting so I'm just gonna um, get something to eat quickly and then leave inshallah That's the plan So I went for some Texas chicken and just look at that blood Are you insane? Where do I even start? Bismillah This chicken is so banging, but it's just come out of the cooker. They're trying to kill me, bro. Are you seeing that? Unnecessary bread that they give you everywhere you go. You don't know what to do with it, but just bite it. I just came um, to just sit here and chill, catch a vibe on my own. I've got some Cinnabon and um, it's cute, it's proper cute. It's not as busy as I'm used to it being, but that's cool or whatever. It's always nice to see my little friend for Shalifa. I'm about to leave right now. Probably get a taxi because my foot is bunning me, bro. My shoe is hurting, man. Hi, sir. Alhamdulillah, back at the house and um, my COVID test was done earlier on. Here is the clip, I will insert it. Whichever. That's sharp. Nah, uh, a bit sharp. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Finished. Thank you. Yeah, that was painful. Um, so I got into a bit of a madness when I was at the Burj Khalifa. So I'm just there recording or whatever, just getting some shots of the of the of the tower and just the scenery. And some man comes comes up to me. He was like, "Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me." Once again, is that a professional camera or is it for personal uses? I was like, "It's for personal uses. It's my own personal like." Do you know what I mean? And then he was kind of like to me, "Ah." Oh, um, it's fine, you can have a camera, but it's because you have a microphone on there. Blah, 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 blah. Can I get your name? Can I get your number? Like, just doing the absolute most. Like, I was just, it's just so unnecessary. Anyway, 
having big big conversations about me through the radio with someone else i think i was being watched by so many people at that specific moment but yeah i knew that was gonna happen anyway i was just kind of pushing my luck but that just got on my nerves i was just like i gotta get out of here but this is bad vibes i gotta go i'm not trying to get arrested in a different country and give any kind of attitude you know what i mean but alhamdulillah yeah anyway but this evening i think i might go down somewhere down there um and just chill catch a vibe it's still early it's currently 8 to 12 but if i don't pick up the camera again tonight love you guys and see you in the morning So basically, it's home time now. I'm so sad. I don't want to leave Dubai, but today's just been so stressful. I almost missed my flight as well. I was breezing through the whole entire airport, like breezing. But I made it literally by the skin of my teeth. But yeah. I had to take the mic down because it's kind of loud. If you've never traveled to Dubai, I would just say my recommendation would be, be just be mindful that it can be pretty expensive with the transportation and all these kind of things. <clears throat> um, and also they, they're just very strict. So like you can get, I'm going to go through all the fines I've heard of. You, got, you can get a fine for not wearing your mask. You can get a fine for taking pictures in a place that you're not authorized to. You can get fined for being in the wrong train bay, in the women's bay. You can get fined for practically breathing. They also fine for that as well. So you just need to be mindful of those things. Although Dubai is amazing and I love it so much and I, I would always keep going back. But it's definitely a vibe, it's definitely a vibe, especially if you're Muslim and you know what I mean? Just this is nice. There's so many options. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up inshallah. I'm gonna sleep off this flight just so I'm not annoyed. And um, yeah, appreciate you guys, love you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next time and see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.